Hi everybody, I'm Ron Kanner and you're watching Out of Zion on God TV. And all week we've been just kind of picking through Deuteronomy chapter 7, incredible promises to the people of Israel as they were coming up out of Egypt, how God would be faithful to them. And, and that has application in our lives. Even if you're in Africa or India or Great Britain, you can take hold of the promises of God. They are all yes and amen in Yeshua. Let's start at verse 18. But do not be afraid of them. Remember, everybody say remember. Perfect. Remember well what the Lord your God did to Pharaoh and to all Egypt. You saw with your own eyes the great trials, the miraculous signs and wonders, the mighty hand and outstretched arm with which the Lord your God brought you out. The Lord your God will do the same to all the peoples who now, whom you now fear. What do you fear? What are you afraid of? What do you need to overcome in your life? One of the ways we overcome through faith is by remembering what God has done in the past. Now I can think of trials that I went through in the past where I really panicked. I was a new believer and maybe had a great need in my life and I was, I just, I, God, how are you gonna do this? And you know what? I'm still here, I'm still, I remember as a new father. I got married and nine months and three days later, I had a daughter and a wife and I had no trained skill whatsoever. I had gone to Bible college, but I wasn't ready for ministry. So I had to find a job and, and I remember panicking, thinking, how am I going to provide for my family? Well, you know what? God was faithful. And now we oversee a budget that funds a congregation in Tel Aviv, not to mention it pays the salary for several employees, not to mention my own salary. And it's a whole lot more than what I needed back then. But you know what? My faith is stronger today. And every now and then I'll see the report that, that we have a great need. I no longer panic. I don't fall apart. What, what does the Bible says? If you falter in times of trouble, how small, how weak is your faith? Now what I do is I go to God and I say, God, you see this ledger here? You see that we have a need? You called us to do this. You called us to bless these people with jobs. You've called us to bless this congregation. And I know that you're not gonna have me begging for bread. And Lord, you control everything, hallelujah. So you can take care of me. In fact, this happened to me just over the summer. I got an email that was not uh, very pretty at all. And um, we had a serious need. And I remember just sitting there and praying, not panicking, but praying. And God put one person on my heart. And I said, Lord, speak to that person. Within a few hours, he had sent me uh, a message on Facebook that a significant check was coming to our ministry. Do you see that? Just a few hours, God had a plan all along. But I think he was more interested in seeing how I would react when I got the bad news. You see, friends, that's what we have to do. We need to stand in faith and believe God. So what we do is we write down the past testimonies. One of the reasons the Bible was written is so that we can read the past victories of God and get encouraged. You can read the story of the Exodus, how David becomes king, how Daniel overcomes the lions, and we can read all of these things and get encouraged. But you know what? I want to encourage you to write your own book of testimonies. And when you go through a trial, go back and what was the word at the beginning? Remember. Right, remember all the great and amazing things, how God healed you, provided for you, took care of you. He is faithful, he will do it. Let's remember and let's see the blessing of God in our lives. Now make sure you go to God.tv so you never miss an episode and you can find me at roncantor.com. Please follow Ron on Twitter and Facebook at Ron S. Cantor to find out more about Ron and his ministry. For more information on God TV and the Out of Zion programs, or to view these programs again, go to God.tv forward slash Zion.